Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Javier with The Real Javier Novoa, a channel, a platform, and a modality. And the, the important operative term here is modality, a way of application, a way of being that applies the principle of business, philosophy, spirituality, mysticism, psychology, and so many more disciplines, it applies principles derived from those disciplines to one thing and one thing only, and that's your rapid lifestyle transformation. And ladies and gentlemen, my primary focus, my primary job as a coach of mental rehearsal, as a coach of focus, is to first of all and primarily wake you up from your slumber. And I know that a lot of law of uh, attraction, law of assumption coaches and many people in our manifesting community aren't going to like that because they think a lot of it's negative and the ones who truly know this modality and methodology deeply know that what I'm saying works, but they say that the majority of people are not ready for it. Well, ready or not, ladies and gentlemen. It's my job to expose you to these modalities, to offer it to you, and to give you the option to test it. Because it's probably something that you've never seen presented in the form that we're presenting it. And yes, in the beginning it can disturb you. In fact, the Gospel of Thomas, the lost Gospel of Thomas, which of course was suppressed by the church, in that Gospel Jesus is reported to have said something along the lines of, when you realize the truth when you're exposed to the teaching first it will disturb you but then it will illuminate you but you have to be disturbed first and we're gonna go into this in this video just a little bit and it's a new concept that basically today has been percolating in my mind and I feel sort of called to expose that concept it's a concept of course that's known and used by top performers in every field this is no secret you see ladies and gentlemen nothing that I'm presenting to you on this channel is going to be terribly original of course I have thought of some terminology I have thought up the framework to present it and I have some new concepts but none of them are going to be original because all my job is is to take concepts that work and to present them to you in a package and in a way that you can implement them immediately for your rapid lifestyle transformation because indeed today calls for rapid lifestyle transformation we're going to see why here in a second but all of the parts of this video are going to be feeding into and leading up to what I'm going to be terming as negative framing that's right, negative framing, which means that you give yourself intentionally, whether real or imagined, a dose of negativity, a dose of threat to stimulate your evolutionary stress hormones and stress system just for a second so that then you can be inspired from your right brain to go in and to implement the tools quicker and faster because that's the only way you're going to get your to, to your desire more consciously and more rapidly and we're going to explain what we mean here by this here in a second but first i just wanted to give you the backdrop to this uh, video i was reading some of the economic news and it's crazy ladies and gentlemen i presented it in a video earlier but uh, I just want to go to our ever-present uh, website here, Zero Hedge, which is the most accurate financial website there is out there, uncensored, and where you'll get a lot of good information. And the uh, first thing is that something just snapped. Uh, Google searches are revealing that people are searching, like all over the place, pawn shop near me. And it says, cash-strapped Americans are panic-searching pawn shop near me. The search trend spikes to a record high at the start of July and is an ominous sign the consumer might be pawning items or selling things that were possibly bought during the COVID boom to raise quick money amid the worst inflation storm in a generation. And um, it basically analyzes those terms, so to speak, by states. By the way, Texas is one of the heavier states that are using this term, which uh, leads one to believe that the economic downturn is finally shifting here as well, even though we've avoided the brunt of it due to our 
co mostly common sense economic policies in this state. But Bidenomics isn't working. Consumers who've endured more than two years of negative real wage growth while depleting savings and racking up record amounts of credit card debt and the highest interest rate in a generation are tapping because interest rates ought to be higher because the amount of money that was circulating in the economy was causing this inflation. The only way to stem the inflate to stop the inflation is to raise interest rates and to take some of that money out of circulation. Right? Unfortunately, are tapping new lifelines by selling items for cash. Panic selling items for cash. So that's one deal. There are many economic uh, storm stories coming to us. Another one talking about the opioid crisis. Another thing talking about the China-centric New World Order coming up. China standing to benefit from a lot of these crises. A number of Manhattan uh, home buyers, uh, high borrowing costs paralyzing home buyers. Uh, Money market fund assets hit new record highs, inflows resume. They're saying uh, Fed balance sheet shrink accelerates. But there are tons of factors that are coming together into the econ in the economy, conflating to bring economic, basically, Armageddon. And this is not good news for the majority of the sheep. It is good news for the people who are awake, for the people who want to be awake. And we're going to give you some tools that you can use to benefit from this but first you have to be shaken from your slumber and that's where the negative framing comes in that we're going to be talking about briefly in this video even Epictetus said that when a student sits down with a philosopher he oftentimes leaves their lectures feeling shaken and feeling worse and that's actually good because he can then begin to work his way out of that and why is that? Especially when many law of assumption, law of attraction coaches will tell us that we should think positively all the time. And this is not true at all. Why is that? Because first of all, when you're thinking negatively, as we've talked about in other videos, and you try to suppress that, you try to suppress those feelings, those feelings simply get stored in your system and then when they're triggered, they come out in a worse way. And the more you suppress that, the more you start to see even medical problems coming out in your body. So the negativity is already there by virtue of our evolution. Because, of course, the mind and the heart, and we've talked about in other videos, mind-heart alignment. The mind and the heart align more easily in the presence of negative emotions like fear than they do in love and faith and hope. And the reason for this is evolutionary. You see, supposedly our ancestors who were hunter-gatherers and when they had to flee a lion or when they had to flee creatures and they had to have their nail and tooth in the ground, so to speak, to survive, well, they couldn't be in gratitude for a long, t long periods of time. No, they were triggered by these negative emotions, their heart and mind aligned in that, and then they were able to escape the problem. Of course, they could shift very quickly between negative and positive emotion, and this is what we're going to have to learn to do, because for a lot of us, we're just permanently in negative emotion, like worry, like doubt, and like irritability. We're basically in low-grade negative emotion. We're also going to be talking about what we touched upon in other videos that it's better to, to go to a, negative, a hardcore negative emotion and then bounce back from that and have that solve itself into a higher emotion than to just be stuck in a low-grade emotion due to momentum. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So many people are just stuck because they're not doing what they should be doing, because they're not living to their potential in their lives, because they're not achieving what they set out to achieve, they're stuck in frustration and irritation. And like Abraham Hicks talked about, you see the illness and the cancer and the heart disease does not come from being extremely angry or extremely hateful because these emotions, as you'll see, they're so hard on the system that they're only sustainable for certain periods of time. So for example, a person can only be extremely angry 
in the normal circumstances only for a few minutes then it bounces back of course it'll might go up to frustration but it's not going to be an extreme anger however a person can live in worry and in frustration because they're low-grade emotions and due to the fact that the brain releases chemicals into the body the body basically obeys that and then gets addicted to that structure and that's why like Joe Dispenza says when people start to meditate and when people start to come out of these negative emotions and come into love come into gratitude the body says wait a minute we've been producing these chemicals just like you've said four years we're not going to stop now because we're comfortable here and then they send signals to the brain and the brain starts thinking subconscious thoughts that are negative that will release those same hormones and those same chemicals keeping the body in negativity and that's where Joel Dispenza says you have to hold the line you have to tow the line and you have to just continue coming back and continue coming back until you break that cycle it's like an addiction ladies and gentlemen and we do give you the tools to break that cycle on this channel of course knowing that you are the one and knowing that you are it can immediately break that cycle but we'll discuss this we've discussed this in other videos and we will be discussing this in more videos so basically you're already if you're not taking action on your goals and on your intentions that's because you're stuck in probably low-grade negative emotions and the tool that Abraham Hicks gives and the tool that works for the majority of occasions is well stop focusing on that focus on something that feels better and you can do that and you'll come slowly to what you want and life will start to unfold to you slowly and nicely the only problem is the majority of people don't have patience for that we're not going to wait for life to unfold slowly no rather we're going to probably because of our training going to keep looking at the outer and saying where's my stuff it's been six months and nothing's moved of course if you could just stay in that contentment and if and we teach you how to do that by waking up each day going into contentment by withdrawing regularly into the heart if you could stay in that everything would unfold for you beautifully unfortunately we're business people and we're very frenetic and we like to move so here's a modality that will help you move it's what we call negative framing so those negative emotions are there all you're doing is making them explicit and as the old saying goes necessity is the mother of invention you know the great Peter Thiel the great tech billionaire when people would present to him a plan here's where I want to be in the next 10 years he would ask them okay why can't you do that in six months now we're not saying here that you're gonna do it in six months but what we're saying is that you can accomplish a lot of things in a much shorter time than you thought possible and a lot of it has to do with just implementing the tools that we teach in this channel if you implement the tools that you teach in this that we teach in this channel because they're vibrational because they're in the quantum and they're not subject to time and space law in the physical you can get there immediately and you can get where you want to be in record time the only obstacle to that is that you have to discipline your mind enough to stick with that process to stick with that program and to stick with that methodology of course the quickest way to do that is realizing that you already are it and there is no process then you'll simply observe the process moving through you but you have to find some way to be able to stick to that process many times negative framing is a way that you're going to be able to shake up that vibration shake up that resistance and to be able to focus on these modalities so what would you do here's a journaling exercise I want to set up a business in one year and have uh, ten thousand dollars a month in sales now ask yourself what if I pointed a gun at your head and said you have to have this business doing ten thousand in sales within three months and I want you to write in the journaling exercise and start coming up with ideas what would I do to get this going in six months of course not going back to the materialistic mindset thinking that I have to do this all myself because for the watchers of this channel 
for our viewers and for me, if someone stuck the gun at my head and told me I had to do it in three months, the first thing I would work on doing is calming my inner being and reminding myself that the gun is an illusion, right? Take your mind off the gun. But when you do that, have that gun at your head in the back of your mind just so that when you start getting unfocused, when you start focusing on negative aspects of the project, when you start quote unquote procrastinating, simply think about that gun being stuck to your head and say, no, I've got to go. And then when you're in that mode of flow, then you start implementing the tools and the techniques that we give in this channel, which is vibrationally getting it to yourself, which is imagining the end, which is getting into state. Then I want all of your work to be getting into the state. Okay, now I'm in the state of having this business with $10,000 of sales. Now what will I do? Now what would I do in journal about that? All the while keeping in the back of your mind that you have a gun to your head. Do you see what we're saying here? Another negative framing would be saying, and this is a negative framing that is being borne out right now by the numbers, by the evidence, the economy is failing and I'm probably not going to have a job for very long. So I have to get moving. Now what will I do knowing that my job's probably going to go away in a short period of time? Let's say my job's going away in six months. What would I do? And then journal about that. And then get into and figure out exactly what it is you want to where you're not even thinking anymore about the job loss. And this is what we went into in our video earlier today. It's that you see the vibrations are changing so much and they're fluctuating so much that in order to be successful you've got to be completely impervious to that vibrational tumult so to speak which means that you have to constantly not be playing defense but playing offense what does that mean defense is starting to think okay I might be losing my job I have to go look for another job and uh, you know I have to talk to my boss and maybe try to negotiate with him and people end up getting nervous due to these negative triggers and then they end up making mistakes and so on and so forth no <clears throat> rather you have to completely renew your mind like Jeff Bezos says now it's day one you have to start at day one and say okay what it is it that I want notwithstanding this job notwithstanding what's going on in the economy what is it that I want oh I want a way to make income. I want to make double the income in half the time. And I don't want to go to an office anymore. Now, journal. And you journal about that. And then, but you don't journal yet on how to do it unless you feel inspired. What you're journaling now is what does it look like now that it's done? And then you embody that state of it now being done. It's a very simple process, and it's a process that you can use again and again when we talk about the illustration of film rolls. On the current film roll, the economy is going to hell, and you can use that as a negative framing to trigger your inventive and creative juices. Okay, there's a gun to your head now, so to speak. You have to get your enterprise up and running within six months. It's got to be an enterprise where you work from home, you work half the time and you make double the money. Now go. And I just want you to get calm, get centered, get into the state that that's already done, and now ask yourself, okay, now that that's already done, what does it look like? And start detailing. And then do what we talked about in earlier videos. You get your letter. So for example, if it's a business, you can write the letter B, surrounded by that magnetic field, you list some emotional aspects and some physical aspects of what's that's going to be like. And then you can just think of the letter and eventually you're going to get so good that when I tell you if you're in the line in the supermarket, I tell you, hey, get into the state of B. You can immediately get into the state of B. Once you're that good, you start giving it to yourself now. And lo and behold, you're no longer living on this film roll. Now, you follow the script of the film role, you keep going to work and so on and so forth, but you give minimal energy to that. You're giving the majority of your energy to the state of B. This is how you go about this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, simultaneously, 
you're doing everything you can to profit from any opportunities that are on this film roll. Remember, we're multidimensional, and this is a multidimensional approach. Because when you think about the worst case scenarios that are on your film roll that you're currently on, and then you think about small ways that you can improve that. It's like Jeff Bezos says. You see, most, most of our stress is not caused by the problems that are given to us in our lives. No, no. Most of the stress is by not taking action on the things that we know we can take action on. So take action on the things that you know you can take action on. It's what the Stoics talked about in the dichotomy of control. The things that you have no control over, you just leave that to coming to you. Because Law of Attraction does say that it's going to be attracted to you when you get in a better vibration. You will be in a better, better vibration. But those things that you can control, do something about it. If you don't do something about it, your emotional uh, resonance is not going to be there. And you're going to be pulled down that emotional scale. It's going to make it harder for you. Of course, anything that you want is going to come. But it's going to make it more difficult for you. So start asking yourself, what can I do on this film roll? And there are a few general things that all of us can do. The economy is going to hell, ladies and gentlemen. So what can we start doing right now? Because we still have a few months left before this thing really starts taking off. Start to get an emergency fund. And if you can do extra jobs on the side, I don't care if it's Uber. I don't care if it's babysitting. If you have the time and the inclination to do this, do some extra job on, on the side until you get at least six months worth of savings saved up for an emergency fund. This is not saying that the material is going to do anything to help you because your good is not coming from the material. It's coming within. But this process is for the sake of, as of all the processes, it's to get you up the emotional scale at this moment because once you start working on that, and you know that you're working on it, you're going to feel better immediately. And the second part of this process, the second point of it, is to free your energy so that you're not thinking about many aspects of this film role. And you can abide more on that film role where you have complete abundance and complete prosperity and you're completely impervious from this prison grid uh, economic uh, crash and so on and so forth. Another thing we advise, notice ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go back to my videos from two months ago where I advise people to put a little bit of money into Bitcoin. Look at how much Bitcoin has risen. It's risen thousands of dollars since the last time we addressed it. Invest in Bitcoin ladies and gentlemen because it is the future of currency. While it's not perfect and it's not an, a currency in the Austrian sense of the term, it is a go-to for people who love privacy and for people who do not trust the fiat currencies. And the fiat currencies, ladies and gentlemen, are crashing fast. Invest a little bit in Bitcoin. If you feel inclined to invest a little bit in precious metals, that would be the start of your investment portfolio. Now, with once you get your six months in savings, the rest of that money, start investing it either in stocks that you know about Bitcoin and uh, silver, or even better, in your own business, in your own micro business. If you've never started a business, I want you to start with a micro business. I want you to just come, come up with some ideas that you can start doing immediately. Maybe it's selling Coca-Cola at the bus stop, like I did 15 years ago. You can just start that, and once you start, ladies and gentlemen, that's where the magic happens. So just do that. Take action on the physical, little actions that you can take. Focus the bulk of your time in your mental work. Getting into that state, remaining in that state, knowing that you are it. And use negative framing to achieve what takes some people years in a very short period of time. To light that fire so that you can achieve it. And remember, I'm not an investment advisor. Do your own research before you invest. But this is the general framework, ladies and gentlemen. So negative framing. Use negativity to trigger you into positive emotional and mental states so that you can get to where you want to get faster on the physical, knowing that you already are it. And knowing this is all a game and that you can revert to your oneness, to your I am state immediately. And just get into that silence as often as you can. And your spirit's going to tell you, your inner being is going to tell you what to do, what steps to take, and you need not worry. 
And just remember, all of this is a game. So let's just go into the silence just for a minute, just for a few seconds, to abide in that and to know that, ladies and gentlemen. Just getting into that silence is enough, ladies and gentlemen. It's enough to know that you are the fullness. And this is all just a playing with forms. Everything that we're talking about, it's just a playing with forms. And I'm interested in you having a masterpiece of a life experience, of creating the life of your dreams. And that's why we're presenting everything that we're presenting on this channel. Remember, I'm doing coaching calls. I can take you hand by hand with this methodology. I can apply my years of experience in consulting, in business, to getting your life rapidly transformed. I will make it my priority to transform your life quicker than you thought possible. I will put my email in the description. Please uh, subscribe and like to the videos. Thanks for sharing the videos. Thanks for commenting on the videos. And thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for subscribing to the channel so that you can get alerts and so that we can get these videos out to as many people as possible. Until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, this is Javier with great love and appreciation. Thanks for watching.